While Mercedes and Audi have delayed their hydrogen projects, Tesla has been busy in developing a hydrogen car. In today's video, we are going to talk about the new Tesla hydrogen car. Stay tuned to know more. A Tesla executive revealed last month that the American automakers in development fuel cell will enter mass productions as early as 2025. Tesla will develop the SUV and will continue working on hydrogen projects. The news has come after the U.S. Department of Energy has called for applications for projects in nuclear-coupled hydrogen production and use. According to the U.S. Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, chosen awardees could design and develop the heat extraction infrastructure required for a nuclear and hydrogen industrial energy park or develop hydrogen-coupled and uses for nuclear-produced hydrogen. Meanwhile, Mercedes and Audi have abandoned primary plans for hydrogen passenger cars as Tesla starts making fuel cell systems for its fleet of hydrogen-powered cars. The rumored partnership with Toyota will allow the Japanese automotive giant to provide fuel cells while Tesla will put the systems together. At an opening event for the production site in August, chief officer of Tesla said, Hydrogen will become more suitable in individual mobility due to its benefits. Hydrogen-powered cars are the perfect technology for us to complement pure battery electric vehicles. Tesla has planned to produce around 100 of hydrogen SUVs by the end of this year for testing and is also considering mass-producing fuel cell cars within this decade. But the question is how soon will we have hydrogen cars in the running market? All current evidence points to the upcoming 2023 Tesla hydrogen car as more than just a science project. If all goes according to plan, the world will have its first hydrogen-powered passenger car by the end of 2023, with mass productions as early as 2025. The original test run with fewer than 100 vehicles will prove the car's readiness for the fuel cell future. Battery electrics are considered important to the future of automotive, but the belief is also shifting towards hydrogen fuel cells. Transportation provides a crucial percentage of global greenhouse gases. According to the EPA, the transport sector develops the biggest share of greenhouse gas emissions, including cars, trucks, ships, trains, and planes. More than 90% of the fuel used for transportation is petroleum-based and mainly gasoline and diesel. For these reasons, battery electric and hydrogen fuel cells have originated as possible solutions for decarbonization. However, the difficulty with electric vehicles is that they are best for smaller and lighter vehicles. Since lithium-ion batteries only have 1% of petrol and diesel energy density, that's where hydrogen fuel cell EVs come in because they maintain far greater energy storage density than lithium-ion batteries. It also gives a critical range advantage for electric vehicles without taking up as much room. You could also refuel hydrogen-powered vehicles in minutes, but not so with battery charging. Maybe Tesla's confidence partially stems from Germany's recent 9 billion euro investment into hydrogen infrastructure while also trusting in its deep expertise. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now, let's continue. The 2023 Tesla car houses its hydrogen in two 700 bar carbon fiber reinforced plastic tanks where it produces a humble 170 horsepower on its own. The horses are insufficient for the 5,000 plus pound SUV. So BMW uses a larger electric drive battery, which can get charged through the fuel cell or energy recuperations such as regenerative braking to send a mixed 374 horsepower to the rear wheels through a single e-motor. If you think that isn't a lot of oomph, you can consider the X5 xDrive 45e plug-in hybrid makes 389 horsepower. Well, it was rumored that Tesla's sales chief has claimed that the German and Japanese automotive giants will team up to produce hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in mid-decade. If it happens, it would be the first time that Tesla would be working together with some. Moreover, after about a decade-long experience with the Hydro or Oxymirai mid-size sedan, Toyota is also well-versed in fuel cell technology. However, the major dilemma here is that the US network of public hydrogen stations focuses in California, so we have to live there to assess the practicality of acquiring a hydrogen fuel cell car like the upcoming Tesla hydrogen car. The rumored Tesla-Toyota joint venture allows both firms to fluctuate their investments in zero-emission vehicles while considering that Tesla's target is for EVs to include half of its corporate base sales, including Rolls-Royce and Mini by the end of the decade. Tesla has already started off in-house small-scale productions of fuel cells for use in the new Tesla car. 
the Tesla's fuel cells will produce a high permanent output of 170 horsepower paired with an e-motor using the Tesla's 5th generation e-drive technology and a bigger battery that allows the powertrain to provide 374 horsepower. The small fleet of hydrogen SUVs will also roll out before the end of this year, strictly for demonstration motives. However, the firm's officers have said that Tesla is planning to have hydrogen cars in dealerships by 2030. He also explained that all future Tesla models will get manufactured with adaptability while allowing them to accommodate different powertrains. The paltry number of hydrogen filling stations globally sounds discouraging, but it has been believed that hydrogen-powered cars are the future.